my library friends. My name is Jamie and I am sitting in a meeting room upstairs in the library. I am on the very top floor of the library. I'm in a bright room with a big table in the middle and this room looks out over the town square of Laconia. Across the street I can see the train station which is such a cool little building um, and I just have a really good view of the city from here. I love this room because it's bright and cheery even on rainy days, which today is a very rainy, dreary day. But it's really bright and cheery here in this room. So I really like sitting in here to do some work. Um, but right now I'm not doing work, I'm doing a fun thing. So I'm doing a, a art activity for you guys today. And I hope you'll do it along with me because I think you'll have a really good time. So before we start with the art activity, I just want to show you a few books that kind of connect to this activity. I want to give you a couple of hints about what we're going to be doing and see if you can figure it out. Um, so these books that I'm going to show you um, will be little hints about what we're doing. And these books can all be checked out here at the library. So if you want to look at these books and read them with your families, you can call the library. We can put them in a bag for you and put them outside so you can enjoy them. So the first book is Eric Carle's The Tiny Seed. The Tiny Seed, with a, with a flower on the, the cover. The next book is Sidewalk Flowers. Sidewalk Flowers is by John Arno Lawson. Sidewalk Flowers, okay. Um, the third book I have to show you is called Flower Garden. Hmm. So all three of those books have very similar things about them. Did you get that? Did you get that they all are about flowers? And then these next two books I have to show you are about art. This one is called Art Lab for Kids with some really fun projects that you can do if you like to do artistic things or even if you don't like to do artistic things and you just like to do kind of messy fun things like I'm not very artistic but I really like to do arty things you can find a project in that book another book we have here this is the last one I have for you is called the big book of crafts and activities it has so many cool projects inside that you can do look at this look at this owl made of paper just some really really interesting projects so we had we had books about art and we had books about flowers. So, did you figure it out? Today, we're gonna to be doing a project, an art project that's flowers. We're doing flower art today, so I can't wait to share it with you. So the art project that we are doing today is a lovely little flower garden. A lovely painted flower garden. And do you see what these flowers are made out of? Can you tell what those are? It's something that you have in your house and that you probably use every single day. So that's one thing that we're going to make. And you could choose to make this one instead, which is a little bit different. It's not really a garden, right? It's a a little vase with flowers in it. Can you see those flowers? Have you figured it out yet? All right, well I'm going to show you what we're going to use to make these beautiful flowers. So the first things you're going to need are paint, right? Because these are painted flowers. So I used green paint for the flower stems and if you don't have green paint, do you know what colors you can mix together to make green? Can you mix blue? And what's the other color you can mix with green? Yellow. So you can mix blue and yellow to make green paint if you don't have it, but I happen to have green paint, so I'm gonna use that. I'm also using for my flowers, red paint, purple paint, blue paint, and yellow paint. 
We just happen to have these colors at the library, so I picked them out. You might have different colors at your house, and that's great. You can use any color you want. That's the fun thing about this art project. You can make it exactly how you want to make it. So that's the paint. We also need some paper plates for um, putting the paint on. I have these little paper plates here, but you could also use a big paper plate and use a little dab of paint on the different areas of the plate. I also used a marker and a pencil to draw the, the vase in one of the projects. And then the secret craft material. Did you figure it out? Did you figure out what the flowers are made out of? Plastic forks. So we are gonna make some beautiful flowers with paint and plastic forks. So I'm gonna get set up um, I also probably should have mentioned that I'm using newspaper on the table because I am very messy. Um, and newspaper is always a good way of, of keeping that mess to a minimum. So I'm going to get set up and get this project going. Okay, we are all set up for our craft. So I forgot to mention the very, probably most important thing for this craft, and that is a paintbrush. Um, you don't have to use this kind of paintbrush. This is one of those kind of foamy, squishy brushes. Um, I happen to have one of these, but you could use a regular paintbrush too. So we are gonna start this one. Um, we're gonna make the vase, because you could do it either way. You could either do a vase or you could do um, just a little field of flowers. So I'm gonna start by drawing my vase with my pencil, um, just so I kind of know where it's gonna go. And I'm gonna start near the bottom and I'm gonna do a little, little bit of a round line there, another line in, and then another one on the other side. And then I'm just gonna go around and make the rounded part of the vase. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna just cover it over with permanent marker so that it looks a little bit nicer. And my lines are definitely not even, but that's okay. Sometimes art isn't perfect, right? So there's my vase. I don't need to draw anything on this paper because it's just going to be a lovely field of flowers. So we're going to start, and you could de decorate your vase in any way you want to. I'm just going to leave mine blank, but you can be as creative as you want and decorate your vase if you want to do that. So I'm going to start by making the stems with green paint. So I am just dipping my paintbrush in a little bit of green paint, and I'm just going to make a little line up. See that? Just a little line. And I'm going to do it all over. Some of the lines I'm going to make a little higher. Some of them I'm going to make a little lower. Let me do another one up here. And then I'm going to make one kind of off to the side here. And another one off to the side here. Just straight lines and curvy lines. And then I'm gonna make little stems because flowers have stems, right? So we're just painting just little stems here and here, another one here, another one there. You can put stems wherever you want. I'm gonna fill in this, this little area here a little bit, make some stems. I am not an artist, but I like to do art, it's fun. So we're gonna put a little, few more little stems in here. Another one there, another one there. There you go, you have all your stems now. So after the stems are all done, you know what, we'll let that one dry a little bit. We'll put a couple more stems up here because that's not very many, is it? Once those are all drawn in and drying, we're gonna put them just here behind the paint to dry up just a little bit. And we're gonna do the same thing on our field of flowers here. We're gonna do little stems all the way down the page. There's one, there's a short one, here's a longer one. 
There's another one next to it all the way down the page. We do a really tall one over here. We'll let it kind of go off to the side a little bit here. And we'll do another tall one up here. Then we're gonna put our stems in. We're gonna do some stems down here and some stems off like that. And then we can do a stem here for another flower and another stem here for another flower if we want. And some little stems at the bottom. You can make a long stem and have two different flowers coming off of it. So we're gonna do some more little leaves here. See, nice and easy. You can paint stems wherever you want them. I'm just gonna do a few more here. Here we go. And my last stem here is gonna have just a few leaves off of it. Ta-da! We'll make that one a little bit longer on the bottom. Okay, and you can, if you want, you could fill in grass down here. You could just kind of paint along the bottom a little bit so that it's a little grassy down here. We'll add a little bit of grass to make it nice and green because it's getting green soon, isn't it? It's starting to get greener now. So that's very exciting. So there's our stem. Kind of looks like, I don't know, somewhere in the ocean, right? It kind of looks like little weeds in the ocean right now, but we are gonna fix that really quickly. So this is where our forks come in, all right? So we have a fork for every color. If you don't have plastic forks, you could use metal forks. You just have to wash them really well afterwards. So we're gonna put a fork near the purple, a fork near the red, a fork near the yellow, and a fork near the blue. And we're gonna start our colors. Which color should we do first? Hmm, I think we should do red first. So I'm gonna show you how I put the fork in the paint because it's kind of, you know what, let's do a color you can see a little bit better because that plate is also red. So we'll do blue. So when I put the fork in the paint, I kind of do like a, just a little dip in it. I don't put it in there hard. I just sort of kind of dip it gently through. And then I'm just gonna put it down on my painting. I'm gonna do a little flower here. I'm just gonna roll it onto the paper. Ooh, that one's pretty goopy, that's okay. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another one over here. There's a beautiful flower there. And then we can do just one more right here. And then we have all of our blue flowers. So next, we'll do some yellow flowers and we're just gonna dip that fork right in. Just make sure we get enough paint on there. We can blot off some of the paint so it's not quite so, so poofy on this picture. And then we can do another stem. Oh, we can do this one here. Oh, we're missing a little bit on the side, huh? We can do that, we can roll it back. There we go. And then we're going to do another one right here. Lovely. And then we'll choose another color. Now we'll do the red. So we'll dip the red fork in the paint, kind of blot off the end a little bit. Kind of, I don't know if you can see that, but we're kind of blotting the end a little bit, just a little. And then we're going to do... Oh, my lights are flickering. It's very windy here today. We're going to do a flower there. Just like that. And we'll dip our fork in the paint again. And we'll do another flower here. And we'll do one over on the other side. We'll do, we'll do one right here. Ta-da! Okay. So we have one more color. Do you remember which color was still left? It's kind of hiding over here. It's purple. So we're just gonna dip our fork in the purple and kind of blot the end of it a little bit and blotting this, this side of it right here. 
because it's kind of goopy at that end. Okay, so we're gonna do a flower here. So pretty, I love that color so much. And then we're gonna do one more flower. Where's our other flower? There it is. We're gonna do one more flower right there. And then that one's done. We have a beautiful field of flowers. How fun is that? And then we can do flowers oops, on our other vase painting here the same way. So we can just do some red. And we'll do one red one right here. And we'll do another red one. We don't have quite as many stems in this because it's a bouquet. So we'll just do a couple of each color. Then we'll do yellow. Another really fun color for spring because one of the first flowers I usually see are dandelions and those are yellow. So we're gonna do a yellow one there and then we're gonna do a yellow one right off to the side here because it's kind of drooping, isn't it? There we go, there's a nice droopy yellow flower. And then we're gonna do a purple flower right here. Beautiful, and then we only have one color left, so we're gonna use blue. We're gonna dip the fork right in the blue, kind of slide it through, blot it off just a little bit. And then this one is also a down pointing flower, so we're gonna do that. And we're all done. Doesn't that look so cool? I love how the flowers come out. I love that it's a little bouquet of flowers. And this is such an, a fun springy project to do and it's looking more and more like spring outside every day. So I thought this would be a fun project to share with you. for joining us for our craft programs. We're going to be doing this um, online until we get to see all of you in the library in person again. It's um, a little bit of a, a strange thing for us to be doing this because we're so used to seeing all of your faces here and we really, really miss you, but we're glad we get to share these projects with you um, even when we can't see you in person. So. So keep checking back. We'll be doing more art projects. We'll be doing story times on Facebook Live. You can go to laconialibrary.org and look in our catalog and see all the books we have to offer that we can check out to you um, and give us a call. We really like talking to you and we, we miss talking to you. So we can't wait to see you again in person and thank you for joining us this way for now. Bye-bye.